everyone welcome to Terra special in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to generate contour lines using dem data sets so you can see here this is my dem data sets which I have downloaded from the earth explorer USGS if you want to download the, this data I have already made a video on it I'll be putting on the cards as well as I'll be giving it in the description you can just check it out so now we just move on to the analysis part so after adding the uh, dem data you can see an option on the top raster after selecting it come down to the option extraction and here you can see the option contour select the option contour after that we need to input our dem file so we have already inputted our dem file if you didn't do it you can uh, do it by using this button select input where you can browse the data and just hit the button open so it will be automatically added and you can see the next option interval between the contour lines so here I am going to give the interval as interval between each contour line as 100 meters because here you can see for me the lowest is minus 2 and the highest is 1258 so I am going to select an interval of 100 uh, you can also go for uh, 10 or 20 based on your need and after that you can see the next option attribute name so here this uh, will be having the contour uh, interval details for example whether it's 100 meter or it's in uh, 200 meter or 300 meter likewise so you can just customize it for example here I am just uh, using the interval of 100 so let me remember it so that's why I am using this uh, uh, underscore 100 if you are uh, uh, going to use 10 you can just put it 10 or 20 for just for uh, remembering the counter interval so after that you can see here produce a 3d vector if you want you can select the produce 3d vector or you can just leave it as it is now after that you can see the option contours here we are going to specify where to save our contour lines if you want you can just keep it as a temporary file otherwise you can uh, save it to uh, any uh, folder in your drive so here I'm going to uh, select the option save to file and after doing so let me give some file uh, let me give the file name for it so I'm going to give contour underscore 100 and I'm going to save it after saving it you can see the option run so let me run this process so you can see here the process has been successfully completed so usually it takes a uh, one or two minutes if you are calculating for a larger area this is a larger area comprising of four tiles so okay so you can see here we have uh, got the contour lines successfully now let me change some change the symbology so you can see the option symbology over here so instead of simple symbology I can use the categorized symbology and here under categorized symbology I can use the elevation attribute let me show you the elevation attribute okay uh, yeah we just uh, see the attributes after that we just come on to the symbology board so you can see here the elevation 100 attributes for uh, each of the contour line you can see that the interval has been given whether it's uh, in 100 or 200 meters or 500 meters likewise it has been given so I am going to use this for symbolizing the contour lines so once again right click on this uh, contour line properties after selecting properties now uh, you can see here it is uh, defaultly in single symbology we are going to change it to categorized after that you can see the value so here I am going to use the elevation 100 after that you can see the option symbology over here so I am not going to change anything so in the color ramps I am going to select uh, this uh, turbo color and I am going to classify it so now you can see here uh, you can see the contour interval from 100 this means uh, up to 1300 if you don't want this other you can just uh, uh, select uh, this uh, remove it you can also change the width of this contour line so let me select all by pressing uh, shift you can do it you can select all and just right click on it and you can see the option change width here I am going to increase the width to go to and click ok now after doing so let me apply it and just give me ok now you can see here so 
So you can see I have just symbolized the contours based on the height as well. You can see these are a highly elevated regions. So I have just changed the color. Likewise, you can do. If you want, you can just also give the uh, labels for the features. So in the option label, select the option labels. Here I am going to use single layer label, single uh, labels. After that, here the value I am going to select the elevation. And you can see here, you can select the font size for bold. So here I'm going to give the size as seven. And after that, you can see the option buffer. If you want to use buffer, you can use buffer. I will be enabling the mask. After enabling the mask, you can uh, select the placement also. So here I'm going to use the curved placement. If you want, you can change it to parallel or horizontal. So if you want the position to be on the line or below the line, you can use it. So otherwise it is, uh, you can see here, it is above the line. So let me apply it and click OK. So you can see here, I have also added the labels to the contour lines. So you can customize it. A lot of options are there. You can just check it up. So thanks for watching Terra Special. If you do have any comments or if you suggestions, please do put it in the comment box. And please do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye everyone. Bye.